In this video, I'd like to take a look at the early Iranian sample in terms of its autosomal breakdowns. As you know, this is the first sample of its kind. It was found in the environs of the Yaz horizon and it's the first early Iranian sample and this sample is likely what the majority of the early Persians, the early Medians and the early Eastern Iranics resemble. And even uh, today, the Yagnobis are the closest population to this sample, though they are a bit different. So without further ado, I'll get into it right now. I will also take a look at the Yagnobis and uh, see how much admixture they derive in their ancestry from this early Iranian sample. So I will get into all of this right now. But before I begin, I would just like to say that the next video will be a continuation of my history series. So sorry for that. Sorry for the delay. But I do plan to get back to it right now. And after this video, in a few days, I will release my next uh, history video. And it will be on the ascension of Darius the Great, as well as the his conquest of the Indus Valley uh, civilization. Well, not the Indus Valley civilization, sorry. It did not exist then, but the uh, Gandhara kingdom, as well as uh, minor Indian uh, kingdoms in the Indus River Valley, which existed at the time. And his invasion of the Indus River Valley was one of the primary expansions eastwards and it marked the furthest extent east for the Achaemenid Empire and you know it's really not one of those uh, topics discussed in history but I will cover it in my next video so please uh, look forward to that I'm sorry for the stutter there but again I'm not using a script and I am a bit ill so please forgive me for that but without further ado now I will begin. So to begin, uh, here's the first uh, calculation uh, I did for this early Iranian and in this calculation you can see that he has around 62.1% step admixture or rounded off to 62% you can say that as well. Around 37.2% of that is from the Andronovo horizon. You now this is Andronovo, Surbnaya and Sintashta, all of this is related. And uh, aside from that, he has another 24.9% step uh, admixture from Yamnaya Samara. So that's from the earlier step wave from uh, the Yamnaya horizon into Central Asia. This preceded the migration of the later step uh, peoples who entered, who were primarily Srubnaya and Androno, as well as Sintashta derived. But nonetheless, this accounts for 24.9% of uh, the Turk, early Iranian rather, yeah, he was not really a Turk and that uh, that label is a bit wrong as it's only contemporarily known as uh, Iron Age Turkmenistan but uh, it was part of greater Iran then at the time. So yeah, around 24.9% uh, of his ancestry comes from Yamnaya Samara. Most of that actually is from an earlier Yamnaya related migration into the BMAC horizon and a bit of it is also from Access uh, Yamnaya related admixture in the steppe population which arrived in the BMAC uh, horizon, so the Proto Iranics or the Proto Aryans. And then an additional 20.5% is derived from Iran Chalcolithic. This is from the native Iranian farmer populations. And finally, another 17.4% is derived from uh, Iran Neolithic. So again, these, this, both of these are native from the BMAC horizon. And these populations show that, that uh, you know, they show a very clear picture here. They show that uh, this early Iranian had significant BMAC related admixture around 37.9% or 38% if you round it up to so around 62% step admixture which is comparable to contemporary Germanics and Nordics and around 38% uh, uh, Iran Neolithic admixture. Now what distinguishes this from Nordics and other Europeans is the nature of their uh, the native farmer admixture. These early Iranians were admixed with native Iranian farmers and the Nordics and Germanics were admixed with early European farmers. That's what distinguishes them. That's why this this early Iranian rather is closer to Iranians today as well as Eastern Iranians as opposed to uh, Nordics because of their the differing uh, uh, farmer admixtures pulls them away from each other. This is why this Iranian sample and the early Iranians despite they may have likely had Nordic features a lot of them may have had blonde hair and blue eyes but the distinguishing factor here is the native Iranian admixture and that's a crucial point and it proves that these early Iranians despite even having Nordic features some of them were not Nordics and they were actually native they were not even native you know they were a hybrid population they did have more you could say European admixture nonetheless 
their significant step ancestry, uh, rather their significant Neolithic Iranian ancestry, pulled them away from contemporary Europeans and closer to contemporary Iranians and Eastern Iranians and South Central Asians in general. Now moving on to this other calculation I did for the early Iranian. This one is based on two sources. One is Androno and the other is the BMAC population. Now this is our Kutin BMAC is from the Bronze Age BMAC. So it did have a bit of step admixture and I will break this down as well later on in this video just after this calculation. But you can clearly see that around 53.8% uh, is Androno step derived and around 46.2% is late BMAC derived. So essentially this early Iranian, this is very similar to David's calculations, but he did not use the same calculator. He used a different calculator, but essentially it shows that this early Iranian, the majority of its ancestry was in fact step and uh, it, well, it was not majority, it was just a slim majority, but it was still majority. But around 50-50 you could say it was BMAC derived and 50% step derived. So again, it's clearly not European, it's not a Nordic, because Nordics lack Iranian farmer admixture. And it's not, uh, it may have had European features, but it would not cluster with contemporary the Nordics and I'll, uh, I'll attach a PCA at the end of this video but clearly he does not cluster with contemporary Nordics rather he clusters with contemporary Agnobis and South Central Asians as well as uh, he is closer to contemporary Iranians than he is to any European population but that's essentially it for this calculation next up I'm gonna take a look at the, that Zarkutin uh, the sample in greater detail let me just get into that right now Next up here is the Zarkutin sample and this Zarkutin sample is very very interesting as it's a late BMAC era sample but again you know it has around 52.3% Iran Neolithic ancestry around 26.7% Iran Chalcolithic ancestry and another 21% Yamnaya Samara ancestry so these later BMAC peoples had around 21% step related admixture they were already step admixed by the time the early Iranics, rather not the early Iranics, but the proto-Iranics or the proto-Aryans as it's better known, arrived into the horizon and these proto-Aryans were Nordics, they were Europeans, but they hybridized with these native farmer populations of the BMAC culture to produce a very unique early Iranian. It was a very unique blend, but even before that there was a minor step incursion into the BMAC horizon and this may have likely caused the collapse of the BMAC uh, nation. You know, it's not certain, but it could have been a factor. But nonetheless, BMAC was built by a population which was wholly of Iranian farmer ancestry. You know, it may have had a an minor Anatolian farmer related ancestry by the way of the Chalcolithic Iranian, but it's still farmer ancestry and they lacked step early on but later on they did pick up a lot of step admixture 21 percent is a lot for the time and a lot for this uh, late bronze age era bmac sample but nonetheless this was uh, the sample the this was rather the population with which the proto aryans had mixed which to form the early iranic so again that is why the early Iranic does have a bit elevated step admixture, but nonetheless, this paints a very good picture. Now, finally, I'll take a look at the Yagnobis and I'll compare them to these uh, other uh, samples, primarily the Turkmenistan Iron Age. So again, uh, here is uh, the Yagnobi as promised, and the Yagnobi results show something very, very, very interesting, and they show that uh, this population was primarily uh, Turkmenistan, this population rather is primarily derived from Iron Age Turkmenistan at around 76% uh, which is quite remarkable, 76.6% or 77% if rounded off and this is very remarkable. It shows that the Turkmen Iron Age population had a huge major impact of that and this is obviously not a Turkmen sample, sorry for that again. This is an early Iranian sample, around 76.5 rather of its ancestry is derived from the early Iranian of the Yagnobi ancestry. Another 16.6% is derived from Iran Chalcolithic. So this is additional Iranian farmer ancestry. I'm not sure how it got there, but it could have been due to later migrations of Iranian farmers further eastward than such. There is evidence to support such uh, migrations, but anyways, I won't get into that. The final point here is that it only has around 7% East Asian related admixture or 6.9 if you want to be specific. And this is very, very remarkable. It shows that the Yagnobis have maintained a great deal of continuity 
and preserve much of their genetics simply based on the fact that they have 77% uh, early Iranian ancestry and this is by far the most you know these individuals are the direct descendants of the Sogdians and uh, the Sogdians while we don't have any Sogdian samples for the time being they would likely resemble this Yagnobi sample so yeah that's essentially it for this video this is all I wanted to discuss and I just wanted to clarify a few things because there were a few questions and oh yes before I leave I would just like to discuss the PCA so here is the PCA and it clearly shows that the early Iranian is a hybrid population between Neolithic Iranian farmers, Chalcolithic Iranian farmers and Yamnaya steppe pastoralists as well as uh, Andronovos and Sintashta and Srubnaya steppe pastoralists. So it's a four-way admixture and it was best represented in this PCA. You can clearly see it clustering between all four populations. You can see that there is a build a bit of tilt it has towards all four of them but in the end it clusters in between all four of them and this is exactly what it is. And this early Iranian is not a Nordic as is it as rather as it is closer genetically to contemporary Iranians as well as towards uh, contemporary Eastern Iranians than it is to any European population. But yeah, that's essentially it. So again, these early Iranians were not Nordics, they were not Germanics, but they were like Yagnobis and Yagnobis have the majority of their ancestry is derived from this population. And uh, yeah, that's essentially it for this video. Thanks for watching and take care.